Now at six, new fallout following in Arizona's family investigation into the state attorney general's office, a call for the department leader to step down. Last week, we explained how Attorney General Mark Burnovich was using consumer protection funds to pay for politically charged legal fights against the Biden administration. And tonight, one candidate pushing to be our next AG is calling for Brnovich to resign. Investigative reporter Morgan Lowe broke the story and is here now with today's new developments. Mark Brnovich is running for U.S. Senate, so he's going to be out of that office, the attorney general's office, at the end of the year anyway. But after our investigation showed how Brnovich is using consumer protection funds, one candidate who hopes to succeed him says she thinks Brnovich should step aside now. I am here today to call for the resignation of Attorney General Mark Brnovich. Democrat Chris Mays stood in front of the office she hopes to lead one day and accused Mark Brnovich of looting a fund that was set up to protect people from crooks and con artists. It is outrageous and it is unacceptable. Last week, our investigation exposed how Brnovich had diverted more than $3 million from the Consumer Protection Consumer Fraud Revolving Fund to other non-consumer fraud divisions, including the politically charged government accountability, voter fraud and federalism units. Brnovich has used those units to sue the Biden administration over immigration and to reinvestigate the 2020 election. It's called the Consumer Protection Consumer Fraud Revolving Fund. If the intent was to use it however the attorney general wanted to, why would they call it this? Well, let me just clarify you there. It's not how we want to use it. It's not how we get to use it. It's how we're told to use it. Joseph Sharada is the chief counsel for the AG's Civil Litigation Division. Last week, he told us it's the legislature that tells the AG's office how to spend the money. Sharada says there's nothing wrong with what they're doing. Even the letter of the law says that he is supposed to be spending this fund on fighting consumer fraud. Today, Chris Mays said if she wins the election in November, she would restore the consumer fraud funding and accused Brnovich of using his office as a Senate campaign tool. If Mark Brnovich wants to focus on his Senate campaign, he should do that in his own time and on his own dime. We received the following statement from Mark Brnovich's office. It's disappointing that anyone running for attorney general would engage in such cheap political theater. We are in full compliance with Arizona law and the legislature's guidelines on how money shall be expended. And we did reach out to the Republican candidates to see where they stand on this. Nobody responded. Jared. Thanks for the 